Hi everybody. This video shows how to build and use a text box modified to capture a numeric field in value format. This is how it works. Numeric values are input from left to right. Just like most calculators do. You can see that the values are automatically formatted to improve readability. Okay? Arrows can move the cursor from left to right. You can hit the home key to clear the text box. Other sharks other than digits are just ignored. Delete and backspace clear the first digit to the left of the cursor. You can see here. Input characters are entered always at left of the cursor. The end key will move the cursor to the, the rightmost position of the text field. Okay. Now let's check the minus event. This is the minus key. This is how it works. Well, this is how it works. If you like it, stick around and we are going to see how to build and use this text box. Quick and easy. Okay. Well, first of all, let's get down to the code. Okay. Stop the program. To use this text box, you just have to come here in the designer, from the text box designer, and you can drop here a text box, a normal text box. You can drop it here somewhere. Okay. Well, then to use it, all you have to do is come over here, properties, then you come to the events, and you have to modify just three events. Enter. You can move it to real box enter. Key down. Text box key down and key press text box key press. That's all. The name of this text box is text box one. So we're going to come down here and now we're going to put here the initial value of this field. Let's say text box one dot text equals to equals to let's say twelve dot two string and two capital N here. Okay, let's try it. Here you see 12 here and it works. Okay. To, to place the text on the middle, left or right, just use the text align property of the text box, just as you would if you were not working with real box. After all, it's just a text box modified, okay? Well, okay. Let's take this example out to clear our screen. And now we are going to, 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 to work around here, this, this, this text box here. Let's dive into the code. The first event, we, we intercept the key press event. Every time you press, um, every time you press a, a key, you activate this event, key press. Let's 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 examine what we, we do in this event. This is first of all, try is just a precaution. You can take it out if you as soon as you trust it, you can take this try out. This if uh, this is a filter. If the, the key the the, ch the character that was typed, E sharp, type it is not digit or is not 
45 is minus or minus it will be futured on. So we're going to, uh, uh, we're not accepting any chart other than digits or minus sign. Okay, if you now here, you have the sender. This event has every, every event is triggered by someone. The sender is the event that, that is the, the, the object that triggers this event. So we are going to cast the sender into the text box format here. So we can have access to the properties of the text box. Let's say t, t dot text is a, the text in the text box. T dot selection start is where the cursor is and, and so on. Okay, we're going to use these properties to make it work just the way we, we want. Well, okay, here we calculate the length of the test less the selector start the, the, the cursor position will, will lead us to save the cursor for you so we can restore it when we left the, the, this routine, okay? Now, if Kishar is minus, what we do? We test the first, the first character of the string. If the first character of the string is minus, we are going to uh, uh, remove it, okay? We remove it by using this command here, removes the first character. If the first character is not minus, we're going to add a minus key here, okay? So the, 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 the minus key flips, flips the value of the text, okay? If the shark is not a minus, it's, it must be a digit. We're coming down here. First, first of all, what do we do? We test if the, uh, the text is less than 20 to, to avoid overflow of the text box. And then what do we do? We, we, have, we, we make a decimal part of this, this string that's in the, in, the, in the text box. It's the string with the text, original text, the text, and then we insert uh, the, 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 at, the, at the cursor position, we insert the, the, the shark that was typed. So e char, e key char will be inserted at the cursor position so that this uh, text will be um, we'll have one more character inserted at the cursor position. After that, we, we take off all the formatting characters, as let's say comma and points. Okay, now we calculate its value. We divide by 100 to replace, to restore the, the to, to find the decimal point position and we format it again. Okay, after that, we just have to a, a reposition, we save the cursor position here. We're going to use that original cursor position to restore the cursor position at this at this point here, so we have the proper a proper behavior. This line here, e handle equals true, is uh, just just one means means just one thing. It means that's all. You don't have to do anything more uh, regarding this event. Okay, so any further action will be ignored, and that's what we want. Okay, okay. So so let's try. Let's let's move on. Here we have the function keys. The function keys they don't come by the key press event. They come by the key down event. So we are going to select the the function keys that that we want to 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 generate the actions uh, proper to a, a comfortable addition. Okay. So let's say key code, the key that was pre pre pressed, maybe back backspace or delete. Okay, so this routine deals with backspace and delete keys. What does it do? Well, he takes the, the uh, casts the sender again, the text box, save the cursor's position just like we did before. Now we split the, the string, the text string. We split that string in two parts, left of the cursor and right of the cursor. Okay, if the length of the left of the, of the cursor, okay, I mean the portion at left of the cursor is greater than zero. What do we do? We take, we remove the rightmost digit, okay, to to make this to improve, to act, to improve this, to to make this happen, to to make this this chart disappear when you say delete, okay. We remove the rightmost chart of the left string, okay. Then we assemble it again, left plus right. We assemble it again without the middle character. Divide by a hundred to restore the decimal point and format it, okay? So the, the text is uh, uh, already formatted in, and in place after this command here. 
And here we restore the cursor position, just like we did here, okay? Now, the other function keys, and, and positions the, the, the cursor to the rightmost position of the field. Okay, so we, we did the same thing. We, we cast the sender, save the selection start as, make it be as, as, as long as the text, and that's all. This moves the cursor to the rightmost position of the field, okay? And now the last one, home. Home does the same thing that end does, but it clears the, the text content, okay? So the text will be zero, formatted zero will be placed here, and the cursor will be uh, at the rightmost position, okay? So that's all. This is what make it work. This is this is uh, this tool here is used uh, every time the the cursor gets uh, the the focus. This text box get focus. This is to prevent selection start, as because the selection. If you have the the text select, it it's um, it's it's a question of style. I think I think it's 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 not nice. I want the the the, the field to be clear. So we we decided to to make selection start equals to text length, which means select nothing. Okay, it starts at the end. Don't so it selects nothing. Okay, that's all. That's that's a question of style, and this improves readability also. That's all. So it works just like we we showed you. Let's do it again. Okay, that's all. I hope you like it. Bye-bye.